Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Mary Ann over at Shopping Crafty. Um, I think about two months ago she did a collaboration with a couple other budgeting lifestyle YouTubers and then clicking on her channel I realized that she was an actress as well. So I immediately got her business inquiry email and I messaged her and we both figured out that we were both actors. She is more based in LA and does movie and screen and I am based here in Columbus, Ohio and I do more musical theater, live stage theater. But regardless of the type of art you do, there are still certain ways that actors like to save money. So we decided to do a collaboration today, <clears throat> excuse me, all those collaborating will be included in the description box below, but without any further ado, here are the ways that I myself like to save money as an actor. Cutting down on travel costs is a huge way to save money as an actor. If I'm traveling to New York or Chicago for an audition or a call, I will nine times out of 10 either carpool or we have like cheap bus rail systems. And then once I get to the city that I'm going to, I will either stay with friends or found, find some sort of a cheap one night stay at a location near the audition. These save immensely, especially in New York where I've researched it can cost up to like six to $800 a night to stay at a hotel once you get closer to like 40th and Broadway. So carpooling, cutting down on travel costs, definitely the number one on my list of how I save money as an actor. Social media has really changed the game on how actors find their auditions. It used to be that you had to pay for a subscription to like a website or a magazine and they would send it to your home and they would have all the auditions listed and which company and what show and the pay and the contracts and so on and so forth. Now with social media, you can go on their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram, and they will have all of it posted there for you without a subscription. So now that this has happened, I've just canceled a majority of my subscriptions to find auditions and I just follow the theaters and companies that I would like to audition for on their social media platforms. Drugstore makeup over the expensive theater makeup. I have always done it. If I'm the one doing my makeup for a shoot or like a commercial or a show, I will always go out and I will buy a cheaper drugstore version. But I will take the time to make it look good. If I need two coats of a cheap foundation versus a one coat of the expensive theater, I'll go ahead and take the time to do that. I will do a like theater get ready with me at some point and I'll show the kinds of makeup that I like to buy. Theater makeup can be extremely pricey because it is thicker consistency to cover your face and be under stage lights. But myself personally, I like to do uh, the cheap drugstore makeup. Number four on my list is to know my tax exemptions. If I do a show and I'm paid through a contract and they're gonna obviously issue me a W-2 to pay my taxes, I like to know how many miles I traveled for rehearsal, how much did I spend in clothes for any type of press that I had to buy myself, how much makeup did I have to buy, did I have to get my hair done, my nails done. I keep track of all these things and at the end of the year when I get my W-2, I subtract those deductions. And it, you wouldn't think it would save very much, but it actually helps you keep a larger portion of your theater paychecks. And as everybody sees actors as starving artists, whatever we can do to save ourselves a dollar here and there really does add up in the long run. Do check with your accountant or how you file your taxes if you do theater and have any interest in this at all to see what you would be able to you know, cut down on your taxes at the end of the year for any of your paid theater or acting expenses. And the last big thing I do to save money as an actor is I barter or trade my time. For example, if I wanna go see a show at one of the big theaters here in the city, rather than pay the $80 a ticket, I will volunteer to usher at that theater so I can get to see the show for free. Or I have offered, um, just recently, one of my girlfriends just got into photography and I took headshots with her. She took photographs of me so I could use them as headshots and she got to use my prints in any of her advertising. So I signed off that she could use my image, anything she took of me on her website or her brochures or her business cards. So it was a win for me because I got free headshots. It was a win for her because she got free advertising. So those, those ways to just kind of be like trick of the trade or barter this for that 
really can help you add up in the long run. But those are my top five ways how I save money as an actor here living in a city. Once again, those who have participated in this collaboration are listed down below. Shopping Crafty will be at the top because Marianne and I are the ones that talked about this in the beginning. She is wonderful. Make sure to go check out her channel and all the other ones listed below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me how you use your tricks of the trade to save money in any of your professions. And once again, if you are new to this channel, make sure to click the red subscribe button down below to be updated for any and all future videos. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. I'm